So I can finally say that I am a full-time comic artist. Hello everyone, I am MD Comics. Welcome to my channel. And as you know, my priority has been to secure my freelancing career. But yeah, I am back to doing YouTube. So this is kind of like an update as well as I will obviously share some tips and what I learned from who uh, in order for you if you want to make a to become a freelancer as a comic artist or why is a good dream honestly to have yeah I am doing freelancing right now and I am enjoying it a lot I like doing all kinds of stories and doing a different different stories for clients gives me an opportunity i get to do a comic from india right now and a comic about a pit bull that's something i wouldn't necessarily do on my own my my stories are different and that's amazing i get to do different things i want to suggest if you want to become a freelancer i find that the best video on that topic honestly is from mark brone it's perfect and it's so completely true it came true for me and he basically lays out the steps I will link his video down below but he basically and in a very summarized manner because you do have to check his channel he said that you have to get out there and practice your art and there's going to be a point where clients people that want to work with you will approach you in your website, Instagram, whatever social media, in your email, whatever way you made yourself available to them, they will search for your skill and they will ask you to work with them. And if you have practiced a lot, a lot of your art and you don't have those clients reach you, it may be that either your marketing is a little flawed and maybe you aren't that out there or it can be that you maybe need a little bit more practice uh, for me it happened i started putting myself out there around to around 2016 i made my youtube channel and i also started posting my comics for the public to see because i have been doing comics a long time but i didn't post them for people to see and honestly it's very different because when I was doing the, them for myself I think that's lovely and it shows that I really love this even if nobody was watching even if nobody paid me I do love making comics since I was very little but I also sometimes skipped some stuff and I didn't learn that because it, I was in my comfort zone because nobody else uh, saw it so I knew you know I could do a cross and yes that's a sword clearly but when you have readers you have to let them know it's a sword you cannot do just a stick like I really liked to do with myself I really didn't like making backgrounds so yeah that's the thing about doing comics for your for yourself sometimes you are too nice with yourself I started getting people that wanted to work with me yeah i started getting approached on tapastic and that was amazing honestly i was so excited with my first paid job i was so so happy and it was good that by then i had already had some experience working with other people because it, at first i started po putting myself out there and checking in the tapastic forum in the tap collaboration you know you can check what comics you can work on or collaborate with other artists there are a lot of unpaid jobs there and honestly i have never been interested in those uh, nor the story nor the offer has been attractive to me because i have my own story and artwork so yeah uh, i can do that for free as well but yeah there are some offers that are paid and i remember i did a couple of them and then someone approached me directly on Instagram and my first big paid job I had other jobs that weren't as well paid but that oh, that was also because I didn't know how to price myself I was learning as I, I, as I went because I wasn't taking so many things into account into the pricing I wasn't taking into account for example I use PayPal and PayPal does take a cut of your expenses and I wasn't smart on how to handle that 
I, I was Learning learning and I still lived under my parents' roof. So yeah, I was learning in a good way, like many artists that start with commissions and stuff. Also around this time, okay, I wanted really bad to be a freelancer. But many comic artists, and I know you agree with me, we want our own story and we want our own comics. But that's more difficult, I would say. Or at least for me it was more difficult. I'm not there yet, I still have. I have to become more consistent, I have to become faster. And that's something that I loved about freelancing because by me doing other people's comics, I was learning so much stuff. That was amazing and an ex amazing experience and I realized that I had to push myself. I did knew that I had to put an effort every time I did a page. So every time I did a page I tried to challenge myself with something. And I also started practicing just through drawing, anatomy and perspective, you know, to try to grow my art. And I finally got a job, well, three jobs in total. There was first a company that approached me and they wanted me to do something graphic design related. And I agreed. <laughs> they didn't want me to design the logos or stuff. I'm not good at that. They just wanted me to trace them. Basically their graphic designer left them or something with their... I can't, I, I'm not going to bore you with details, but anyway, I had to do that job. And then, and then Ishan Comics on Instagram approached me and he wanted me to make a comic about Rani of Jansi. Uh, she is a very powerful Indian figure. I had already known about her a little bit because of Salgari, but I didn't know that much about her anyway. She's a very strong, powerful woman and I was very happy to draw that win. And I had another third project. Well, other, other many small projects are there as well, but my, okay. And my other project is about a pit bull and the writer is currently doing some corrections to the script. I'm waiting a little bit, but we are also friends. So we keep in touch through email because I also support his dreams. He's learning more about how to make his own comics as well. And yeah, let's see how it it's goes. amazing, honestly. And yes, I want to talk this very briefly. So I am very happy to be doing comics for other people because it challenges me. I want to talk briefly about the usual path versus the path I am taking. Again, most comic artists want their own story, their own comic to be a success. And I tried that as well. But let me be clear. I had plan A to make my own story, my own comic a success. And so people would support me because they love my story and people love it so much they want more and I, I get supported by doing what I love and that's an amazing dream. That's plan A. And I am I, I do still want to achieve that. But yeah, plan B, which I love as well, is being a freelancer and doing comics for other people. And I love that as well because I get to draw, I get to do another unique vision another story and at the same time I'm in the same industry and I get known because of my work more people can see my work and maybe that will f fuel plan A and that's a very important thing because most people suggest you to get a job in something secure like accounting or maybe you, that you don't like for example and I feel like what I mean, just to clarify, is it's not the only path you can take and they tend to make it sound like it's the only path or the best path and I just want to offer you an option, another option and yeah, there are so many ways, just clarifying that but I feel that it's so good to be a freelancer on something that you love and to grow your own comic on the side because it's around the same niche and people that are attracted to that niche get to know you 
I don't know if I am explaining myself, but anyway. She was doing something art related but still fun, that like animation, 3D animation, let me be clear, uh, because I love, I love doing that. Or, you know, like character design for an anim animation studio or something like that. Um, that was plan C. It's still fun, you see? Like, there were so many options. Then plan D was to do something that was fun, but maybe nothing related to this. Like, I would prefer to be like a Starbucks employee or something, you know, even if you don't gain as, as much money, like being a lawyer or something. I feel like I would prefer doing something fun, even if it doesn't pay as much, you know? Like, I prefer doing... Yeah, that's basically it. I prefer doing 40 hours a week, something fun, even if it doesn't pay me much, and to leave time for doing art on the side, you know? That was like plan D. Plan E was to do something boring anywhere, which I would enjoy counting, like or maybe something in a bank, because banks always need something, someone and yeah, I was very willing to do that and I know that I could somewhat enjoy it uh, yeah and then the next plan, the last plan I had if I had no other choice was programming <laughs> and being an engineer because I do like programming but then not that much <laughs> So yeah, use my degree my last option. Yeah, and I am very happy that Plan B is right now being a freelancer. I have to grow that, especially being an artist or a creative uh, person. Right now, I get paid for uh, each page that I uh -huh. finish. Which means if I get in a month, let's just imagine something horrible that month i cannot work at all i do not get paid that that's what i mean so i need to grow my streams of income in order for me to be able to get sick in a month or you know do a funeral for someone for example to take an absence from work and still be able to eat that's what i mean so i have to grow this freelancing business, I can't talk about my plans in another video, this, this, uh, this would be too long. I have so much to share that I have been learning around this time, how to price yourself an, as an artist, how to make a comic for someone else. It's not that, that simple and there's mistakes that I make over and over again. How to make your contract, how to set your price sheet etc. There are so many things that we can talk about and there are so many things I even have to correct myself yet. Like, I know how to correct them, but um, yeah. What I wanted to add is something... You, if you have been subscribed to my channel, you would have seen other videos about this, about how... about this journey, honestly. So I will spare you with much of the details, but I do want to clarify some. Most people suggest, and I and I understand that, and it's perfectly okay. There are literally thousands of journeys on how to become an artist, but there's many people that maybe either because they are older or didn't have the same opportunities as I was privileged to. Even they didn't know about YouTube, which is a very good source of information for you to know that being an artist is something possible. Yeah, there's lots of people that do not find out that they want to do art as a living until they are out of college and they are already stuck with bills, they are already maybe they have a family, they have um, children they have to take care of and so they have to do that job, they have to take care of children which isn't easy at all and then they do comics on the side, which is the hard mode in my opinion. So many, most of the advice you see out there about how to make comics one day for a living. What they advise you to do is to get a secure job, to save a lot of money. You save that money and you save for two or three years. Then you quit your job and many people even go back to their parents' houses. There's lots of people I have seen in the comics community that go back to their mother's basement, which is perfectly okay. They are there for you and it's a very good fin financial decision. Uh, you go back with them and then you work your ass off for two or three years and you make your dream of being an artist a reality. 
or you fail. I have seen both cases. Um, but I think there's a clear difference between the two. I may talk about that in another video. But for example, a successful story about that is Happy the Artist. She quit and worked for two or three years, I think, or something. And uh, she is a very successful YouTuber right now who sells her art and she's very happy and that's amazing. But I also have seen the side that hasn't, didn't fail, failed it in that moment and now is a very successful person. I will put an image of him. He's a very successful person, but it wasn't his time when he quit. So here's the thing. I thought about doing that. I thought about getting an engineering job to listen to all the advice most people say, to get a very safe job and then to save money and then to do that path, you know, save money, quit, two years, blah, 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 uh, work to make, to become an artist. And me, like many of those people, are lucky enough to live in our parents' house. And I was like, why would I do that if I can do this since I am a student, you know? Like, I had the luck or chance, whatever you want to call it, and privilege of being my generation, my age, and seeing that I could become an artist. I was putting serious effort in that dream instead of when I had finished college and I already had bills and responsibilities and a marriage and children, you know? I was lucky enough to start semi-early. In my opinion, it was late, but I know that for many people I started early and I am young and I had some chances. But yes, if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I made a deal with my father to let me have a year for me to make this a reality. Mm -hmm. He would still maintain me and I would try to become an artist in that year. And if you have followed my channel, my last video was how to regain motivation. And I was doing my own thing and I was realizing that my own thing was good it was going well, but it wasn't going so well that I could live off of it. So I realized I had to switch to plan B and to get clients. I finally did it. I got a company to pay me enough to say that I can do this full time. And then another client came and now I'm in talks with other two clients that seem big projects so I feel like I can accomplish this if I work hard enough again it's a priority game it's hard it's frustrating to waste an opportunity because I still have six months more or less I have until July to get out of the house essentially but my dad is very nice honestly but I do want to live from my own stuff and right now I thanks to that company to my clients to everything I am able to make enough to make a living and I am very very grateful about that. Maybe I don't get any clients after April for example and maybe I will have to get another type of job but at least right now it's happening and I am very grateful to everyone that has given me this opportunity. I will make my greatest effort to not waste it yeah uh, well yeah my client saying that he's like in the work uh, the Rani of Jancy client at least and I am very happy about that do you know what to do like subscribe comment check my comics if you want to and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye